Well, good afternoon. It's uh, Paul and Pauline here, and we promised you we'd bring you a different Bible reading from another part of Australia. Today we are on the border. What we're sitting on here is the border between Queensland on this side and New South Wales on that side. Well, here is a little sample from the journeys of Paul and Silas. Um, and in Acts chapter 19, we read this. While Apollos was at Corinth, Paul took the road through the interior and arrived at Ephesus. There he found some of the disciples and asked them, Did you receive the Holy Spirit when you believed? And they answered, No, we have not even heard that there is a Holy Spirit. So Paul asked, Then what baptism did you receive? John's baptism, they replied. And Paul said, John's baptism was a baptism of repentance. He told the people to believe in the one coming after him, and that is Jesus. On hearing this, they were baptized in the name of the Lord Jesus. When Paul placed his hands on them, the Holy Spirit came on them, and they spoke in tongues and prophesied. There were about twelve men in all. Paul entered the synagogue and spoke boldly there for three months, arguing persuasively about the kingdom of God. But some of them became obstinate. They refused to believe and publicly maligned the way. So Paul left them. He took the disciples with him and had discussions daily in the lecture hall of Tyrannus. This went on for two years so that all the Jews and the Greeks who lived in the province of Asia heard the word of the Lord. It's interesting how they moved out of the synagogue and they moved into a hall. And, and many Christians since then have rented a hall or rented a schoolroom to run their meetings and to teach each other and build each other up in the way of the Lord God. From verse 11, God did extraordinary miracles through Paul so that even handkerchiefs and aprons that had touched him were taken to the sick and their illnesses were cured and the evil spirits left them. Some Jews who went around driving out evil spirits tried to invoke the name of the Lord Jesus over those who were demon-possessed. They would say, In the name of Jesus whom Paul preaches, I command you to come out. Seven sons of Siva, a Jewish chief priest, were doing this. One day the evil spirit answered them, Jesus I know and Paul I know about, but who are you? Then the man who had the evil spirit jumped on them and overpowered them all. He gave them such a beating that they ran out of the house naked and bleeding. When this became known to the Jews and Greeks living in Ephesus, they were all seized with fear and the name of the Lord Jesus was held in high honour. Many of those who believed now came and openly confessed what they had done. A number who had practiced sorcery brought their scrolls together and burned them publicly. When they calculated the value of the scrolls, the total came to 50,000 drachma. In this way, the word of the Lord spread widely and grew in power. After all this had happened, Paul decided to go to Jerusalem passing through Macedonia and Achaia. After I have been there, he said, I must visit Rome also. He sent two of his helpers, Timothy and Erastus, to Macedonia while he stayed in the province of Asia a little longer. So there's a little sample of Paul's journey into, into Asia and into Ephesus. Obviously, uh, teaching people with profound sense of uh, power, and, and the Holy Spirit was with him. He was anointed as he spoke and, and also people were healed. There were signs and wonders as Paul went about teaching people about the Lord Jesus Christ. So there's a little study of uh, the book of Acts. I hope that you read all of the book of Acts. You'll see what the disciples were doing in those early years, spreading the word of God and, and having people converted to Christianity. And that's how the kingdom of God grew 
in those early days. I hope you get into the Word and may the Word get into you. If you want to follow our Aussie Bible study further, then just click on the button at the end of this video and come to the next reading from the book of Acts. Stay in the Word now and may the Word stay in you. Have a great day. See you later.